Getting complicated. So we're officially in chapter two now. We got to go over there. It's on the hop. I don't know how long this recording session is going to be. I decided I'm going to start recording games and they're in it's game shorter games like this in their entirety and then cutting them up. We'll see how long I stick to that. I change my mind every day. We came through here, didn't we? What are those? This used to be a beautiful place. Hey, big gal. <laughs> Alrighty. So, not all creatures here are hostile. I wonder if the aggressive ones used to be peaceful as well. If so, what turned them? Can I kill him? I don't want to shoot him. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get something to be able to break through these pipes eventually. Maybe it's them. I got a skill point ready to use. Uh, what would it represent? Uh, oh. Press X again during an interval mark to then reload bar. What? So we got a quick time event to potentially get faster reloads. Sweet. More equipment from the Hermes. I must be getting closer to the crash site. Mike. I'll find you guys. Mr. Jefferson. I mean, do we want to find them? You saw the state that the last dude was in. What are you looking, looking kind of unfamiliar? Keep getting nauseous extract. Okay, let's go down here. I can make that sound too, buddy. You ain't special. I'm the big dog out here. Flesh remains. By meshing with the stone that surrounds them, they do. Ugh. I don't like this. Ew, it's like the flood. Am I walking into a stomach? <laughs> that 
actually scared me. I, I tried to scream just then and I couldn't, the, it, I, the scream wouldn't scream. The scream wouldn't scream. <laughs> I tried to scream, but nothing came out. That hurt, didn't it, boy? Beat him on the block, beat him round town. What were they protecting over here? Fiber. Oh, okay, that's fine. I've crafted all consumables already in the game. I've got another achievement like that. There was like scan all whatevers. I feel like I'm, I just finished chapter one. Have I already done all that stuff? Like, what are we doing? Is, there, is the game not going to evolve more beyond the, these points? <laughs> I hope it does. That's a gripe that I have with the game right now. Uh, they give you these grand moments where you got a chance to like really use your environment to help you fight, but they give you no time to set it up. Like just then, I as soon as I saw the area, they were already like hatching in after me. You get no time to set up the cool fights, which is upsetting because that could have been cool if I would have been able to shock all of them. It doesn't need to be about survival all the time. Like, let us have that moment to like see something exciting happen. I got to about right here before they all started to spawn. entirely and I'm stuck and they're chasing me <laughs> oh my god bro oh my god Not a fun part of the game. Like they trigger so far out from your rain or from your area. I 
I haven't gotten the quick time reload correct yet. I need to like take it next time I reload. I need to actively look at it and see what's happening with that. Ah, oh, it's right there. Okay. There's there there it, a moment can be challenging and it can also be fun. That was challenging but frustrating simply because they didn't allow me to use the environment without sacrificing myself. Like you would have to die bomb in there, and I don't necessarily feel like Kate's a protagonist meant to be dive bombing into things with the lack of really just a shooting flexibility and just the, that's your best dodge. I forgot I had a shield. Forgot about the shield. Is it a good thing if I've forgotten about the shield already? <sighs> I need that. I got two ability points. I got one ability point. Hmm. Go down here. Gotta be quick on the trigger sometimes, man. I do like with the bigger role the fiber is playing now that we found an uh, ammo cache. You can like craft ammo in the wild. Just wish I can hold more fiber. Before we cross that bridge, we're gonna check this out. You okay, buddy? I'm gonna wait. Oh my gosh. Log entry, recently killed. Bite wounds are approximately six inches deep. Well, what could have done this? We bet to find out. <laughs> Some vicious beasts are roaming around these caves. I'm both glad that there's no fast travel system and kind of frustrated by it. Oh, we just made a shortcut. Yeah, we're about to find out what we just bit that creature. We're about to find out. We finna get mauled. Big field. Perfect for a little fight. Oh, that's pretty. Overdeveloped mandible is filled with razor sharp teeth. With several rows of razor sharp teeth lodged in an enormous mandible and maxilla, maxilla, this fast creature can rip its opponents to shreds in a matter of seconds. Okay. Extremities are very strong, allowing the creature to close the distance to its prey quickly. Best to freeze them first and then shock them.
There has to be more. Strong. Let's take a lot of ammo too. I don't see any uh, ammo stations in this field. That's that's a problem. So I'm way out over there. Take a moment, to just appreciate the scenery. Nice. Anyways. I got an ability point. Uh, Kate gains extraction effectiveness. Plant sponsors have trigger Ah, uh, sure. I'm gonna make sure I get all the tier one abilities at least. I'm definitely not looking to 100% this game or anything. I'm just trying to get through it, man. That's the objective, that's the goal. Get through scars above <laughs> at medium difficulty. Survive and advance. We got got for March Madness. You know, I'm a Tar Heel fan. They kind of scare me a little bit here and there, though. This was a massacre. Bite marks. They were shredded into pieces. They must have been killed by those monsters nearby. This was someone close to you, wasn't it? Save your people. Stop the custodian. Holographic technology is incredible. I think I could use it to make something useful. Some kind of distraction. Uh, I don't think we'll be using that. All the way over track enemy's location though it's next uh, next to this flying long. Okay, okay. I think I'll use that more than the Molotovs, honestly. Molotovs kind of trick. I mean, you can use those in collaborate in combination. Throw that, then a Molly, then bl blaze them. I guess. We'll see what I end up doing. <laughs> One moon, two moon, three moon, four, four. Uh, those probably aren't even moons. Uh, this bridge is gonna make me dizzy. I got to poop here in a bit, so we're going to take a break whether we want to or not. Sprinting exhaust my thumb. Wish it was you just double tap. There has to be something. It's right there. It's the first option you see. Give me my, give me stronger aim assist. Oh my gosh, this is so much better. Well, there goes one of my gripes gone. <laughs> there goes another one, the aim assist. <laughs> wow, look at me actually looking in the settings and fixing problems for myself. Uh, let's go up.
So what if I turn on stronger aim assist? Who's gonna fight me for it? You won't. Anything up here? Any knowledge? No knowledge. I feel like I had homework I should have done or something this weekend. Just had a full spring break, didn't do any homework. The crash site must be close. I hope Tam and Mike are alive. A dude who still misses with aim assist. I can't grab that. Guess I don't need it. shots am I gonna miss I used all my ammo jeez the thrusters burned out Robinson must have used maximum power to avoid the crash. Okay, bro, just climb it. You doing the most. <laughs> Ooh, current augmenter. Oh, yeah. My static shock is stronger. I got four more charges of my clone. Nice. Kage Bunshin no Jutsu. Got him, that's on. Idiots. I'm the idiot. No. I'm glad I killed those other ones before we dropped down here then because that would have been a party, buddy. Would have been a grand old ball. No party on my watch. Light little loading screen. Y'all see that slugma? That big old worm? Little Pokemon out here, bro. Light little loading screen. What are we running backwards for? What's back here? Nothing? A drop down? We don't want to drop back down there. I got a ability point. Uh, what's this? Sure. Give me more health. We're getting ability points rather fast now. It makes me think that, um, 
further we get in the game, they're going to give us more experience points. So we get ability points faster. I don't know what I just, I don't know what point I just tried to make right there. <laughs> Watch your language. I don't know what kind of point I was trying to make. Of course, you're going to get more experience points as the game gets harder and you face more enemies. Duh. I try to be all big brain. I go lavish Lindsay again, bro. I'm not done with the Hermes. I have to get some answers. Girl, I'm just trying to explode. Ooh. Scar emblem. Which badge is scar? Okay. I don't know why I got I, I got that confused with Umbrella Corporation. Star instead of scar. More of that growth. Same as with Robinson. Where is it coming from? Girl. Oh, power source. Looks like Tam's handiwork. Can't open it without a key card. Log entry. Something is really wrong with Mike. I've placed him in the bio bed and I'm running tests, but his skin. His skin is changing. Commander Robinson still hasn't returned. What did they encounter outside? Hmm. Turning into a scary moment. Is this metahedron? Why did it bring us here? Mike? Mike? What happened? Look, where is Commander Robinson? No, no, no. Mike, I'll get you to the lab. Hang on. Oh my God! What? <laughs> One of our jackets. I'm taking it. Put it on. Wait, how do I? Put it on! <laughs> that thing scared me. That was not fair. I got an electric cutter. Severe slice ability. Huh. If it can cut through plasteel bulkheads, it can cut through anything. Kate is now able to deliver a devastating blow with the melee weapon. Press and hold. Charge a stronger attack. Okay. Graduation day. Feels like it happened in another lifetime. Zero six two zero one zero. Zero six two zero one. Zero. Oh, he gotta go. Blood sample seems to be contaminated by nanite units. They're manipulating his cellular structure. Does this mean that the mutations are 
artificially induced? Mike? Tamara's computer. Mike and Robinson went to scout the area. I'm trying to repair the ship's scanning system. Without it, we're blind to what's happening around us. Medical log. Mike's situation has become dramatically worse. The tumors on his body are now expanding at an exponential rate and spreading all over the lab. I have no way of curing him. I isolated a single nanite unit. His construction is far too complex. However, I discovered it is constantly receiving a binary transmission. It looks like an instruction set. My hypothesis is that these nanites are controlled from the central source. If I'm able to find it, maybe I can instruct them to reverse the process. Only Mike returned. He is in bad shape and can't give me a straight answer. I've tried all known antibiotics, but his condition is only deteriorating. I suspect the nanites in his blood are responsible for this. They're changing his cells. Mike is getting more aggressive at times. I have to keep the lab locked. Tim recorded the coordinates to the computer. What is up there? This, this must be what happened to Richard too. Mike, what has this place done to you? The bloodstream is full of foreign bodies consisting of an unknown alloy. There is a wound in the upper torso, triangular in shape. It looks like it was made by a solid, thorn-like projectile. Is that it? Medical log. Patient's body is covered by abnormal cancerous growth. Temp 39.8 degrees Celsius. Pressure highly irregular, 190 by 120. Heart rate, 136. Pupils highly dilated. Inducting 120 cc's of protein synthesizer in hopes of lowering the body temperature and normalizing the pressure. Commencing diagnosis. Tamara was taking blood samples for analysis. Tam was analyzing Mike's blood and discovered that it's contaminated with unknown nanite machines. The nanite machines seem to be altering Mike's body, which means his condition is artificially induced. Tamara managed to isolate a single nanite unit and discovered a transmission that seems to be remotely controlling its operation. She went off to find it in hopes of reversing the process. I have to follow these coordinates. It's the only way to help both Tam and Mike. But so Tam's the last survivor. It's getting cold here. I should put on my jacket. Yeah! Oh, we drippy, ah. We got the fresh drip, ah. Bro, can I get a, can I get a pillar soon, bro? I'm out of ammo. Ooh, this is about to get scary. We're in chapter three now, let's go. The sound of the snow crunching underneath my dogs ain't too appealing, buddy. Another game starts at six, so I got like an hour and a half left to record, dude. Let's go. I am gonna have to take a bathroom break. I said I was gonna take one earlier, but I didn't end up doing it. Hypothermia, wait. It's freezing here. Oh, no. Nah. My hypothermia didn't go down, dude. No. 
Okay. Some kind of installation. The transmission source is beyond that gate ahead. Sealed shut. How do I get through? The other defense sector is closed, protecting itself from an intruder. Your friend is inside. Tam, she must have triggered the lockdown. Is there another way in? Uh, yes. A transit system for materials. Nearest access station is nearby. Sending you the location. Better check that transit system then. Whatever it is. Hmm. That looks interesting. It's warm to the touch. Thermal amplifiers and emissive materials. Perhaps it's some kind of a personal heating system. Hey! Enables ice breaking. Flux igniter. Here we go. I ain't got no gloves. Oh, when did I get an ability point? We, we were in a whole spaceship just now. We didn't get suited out with gloves, a helmet, nothing. Tier one abilities are done. What are the tier four ones? Okay, just a damage and defense buff. I did not mean to do that. I wonder. Oh my God. Why ice can be used to your advantage. Enemies can fall through it into freezing water. Crack the ice to make a hole so your enemies fall. Okay. capable of burning at extreme temperatures, hotter than ignited pure oxygen. It will temporarily emit intense heat. That's a pretty wild fight. Are you dead, brother?
my god! That's crazy. Another incident in the lab, I need to make sure the specimens aren't able to wreak havoc on the surveillance and travel systems. They managed to destroy one of our power consoles and the transit system was out. I could barely salvage the developing DNA signatures. This is a reminder to program a better emergency knockdown protocol that would automatically seal every door leading to the main lab. device most probably a part of an integrated network it is seemingly capable of regulating the meteorological conditions of the area around it can you make it warmer out here dude i'm out of static shocks Not this mess again. Should I put Mr. Jefferson on top of Mike? I think so. This must be the transit system. It is inactive because of the lockdown. What now? The transit center is up the mountain. Get there and I will be able to reactivate the system. I'm sending you the location. It is a long walk. 